We're going to show you how to create a group for your Flickr account to sync to your website. Now remember, a group is for sharing photos as a community with your website. Not intended for uploading a specific album quickly to display on your website. You don't need to do this every time you add an album. This is not the video for that. However, to create a group, you simply just log into your Flickr account. You create a group. Choose the public option that anyone can join. Here we have a description and a name that we hope is easily recognizable for the Brainerd Lakes Area Snowmobile Trails group, which is what we're going to be adding this for. Here we can choose what we want non-members to be able to have. And I suggest leaving this open simply because it's nice to allow visitors to see your photos and discussions. Keep the levels of the administrator and moderator is the same. If you want to change them, you can. But then once you're done with that, you're all done. Now, if you order club website set up from us, we would have already had an app set up that will be able to sync to your account. Meaning the next step would be to simply log into your club hosting website and then go to the Flickr gallery plugin make sure it's connected properly, and then check the photos that you want to display. Now technically your group has been created, but it's always a good idea to just to run through the rules one time when you're doing this to make sure that you have it set up exactly how you want. The biggest thing that I suggest everyone do is to create a Flickr web alias. That means all you have to do to link to your group is give it a unique URL. You can post this then on your photos page, which we will do in the next video. So without making you sit through everything, we just went and picked a few names that did work. So we're going to lock this in. And now this group's URL is now this. So we will want to make sure that we note that down and add it to our website. Other useful things that you may wish to do is to add keywords. Keywords are things that help people find your group. So if you want to bring in new riders, new members, new blood, you know, it never hurts to describe your group by using the keywords that people may want to find you in. So for example, the Brainerd Snowmobile Trails area obviously would want to use the Brainerd keywords as well as snowmobiling Minnesota. So we'll add those and save them. And then, you know, you can also just double check the group, privacy rules, things like that. You know, you don't have to do anything. Your group pool is done. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is add photos. Now, you don't have to sit through the rest of the video if you've used Flickr before, but if you'd like to just watch real quick, it's not a bad idea. But actually to simplify things for other users, we're going to show an example on how to add photos to a group in another video. So just check our support page for the link to the next video. Otherwise, if you're watching this through a playlist, it'll automatically start. Thank you.